Laserfish scanning standard mode enables you to digitize multiple paper documents at once, pre-select document properties and image enhancements, and file them in the right Laserfish folder so you get clean, organized digital documents every time you scan. In this video, we'll walk through scanning in a batch of student enrollment applications. To scan using standard mode, open Laserfish scanning from the toolbar in the Laserfish client and select standard mode. From there, you can connect Laserfish directly to a scanner of your choice by clicking File from the menu bar and select Scan Source. Laserfish supports a variety of scanners and can even ingest images stored on your hard drive. The toolbar will change based on the scanner you select. The most common options for your device are displayed. Note that once your scanner has been configured, Laserfish scanning will use that device by default, even after you close the program. Here, we've already configured our scanner, so no further configuration is required. Once you've connected to a scanner, you can set up the default document properties in the configuration pane. Because standard mode is designed to ingest multiple documents at once, it allows you to set up document templates, metadata, and a default name in advance and automatically apply them to all incoming documents instead of configuring them for each document after scanning. Here, I'll pre-fill a few of the fields on my student application template and set a default name. By default, scanned documents will be saved into whatever folder was open in the Laserfish client when you launched Laserfish scanning, which is fine for the student application I'm scanning in now. With document properties in place, you can then choose image enhancements, which are accessed by selecting image processing. The options that appear in the properties pane on the right side can be used to clean up image quality, make scanned pages easier to read, and ensure that all document text can be made searchable in Laserfiche. These settings must be selected prior to scanning in your documents. You can test out these processing options in advance by scanning in a sample document. Clicking Scan Sample Image at the bottom right will scan the first page available in the scanner. Page removal will automatically remove pages from a scan, like blank pages and cover sheets, that may not be relevant for people reading the document. Removing pages by size is good for removing blank pages. The default value, 3000 bytes, is a common threshold for blank pages, but be sure to scan and test it to ensure that you're not removing pages you want or leaving blank pages behind. Here, 7500 bytes removes the blank page. Rotate image does exactly what it sounds like. It rotates an image to the proper orientation, either by looking at the text on the page or by rotating by a fixed amount. When rotate image is set, it will evaluate each page individually and correct any miscellaneous pages that may be upside down or oriented wrong during the scanning process, like this page of this student's application. Printing, scanning, and faxing paper can also introduce unwanted jaggedness to text on a document, making it harder to read. The Smooth function can clean up these imperfections by adding and removing pixels around the edges of the content on the page. You can choose to add to the content by a certain amount of pixels, called growing, remove pixels from the content, called eroding, or a combination of the two, called sand and fill. Here, I'll test out the smooth function by clicking Test Process to see how it reduces the jaggedness of the letters on this application. Lastly, documents can pick up unsightly dots, lines, and smudge from the dirt on the scanner, extra ink from the printer, or from a fax machine. Despeckle removes unwanted speckles, or noise as it's called here, on documents. Laserfish scanning lets you select the size of the speckles you'd like to remove. You can also specify if you want to protect important marks from being removed, such as punctuation and tittles on I's and J's. Because speckle size can vary heavily, be sure to test your settings to ensure they're set to clean up speckles without removing anything important. These four functions are the most common enhancements, but Laserfish Scanning has many other options you can test out and use based on your scanning needs. The final setting to configure before scanning in your documents is Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, which will make the text on these pages fully searchable within Laserfiche. 
You can turn on OCR prior to scanning by selecting the OmniPage OCR process. This should be the last process you select to ensure that your documents are as clean and easy to read as possible. If the text on the page is in a language other than English, the language can be changed in the Properties pane. Now we're ready to scan. Clicking Start Scanning will start the scanning process. As pages are scanned, the pages will appear as thumbnails at the bottom of the screen. Once scanning is complete, you can navigate through the results using either the page controls above and below the document or by the thumbnails below the document image. Since multiple documents have been scanned, they need to be split apart. To break the scanned files into individual documents, select the thumbnail of the first page of the new document, right click, and select Split Document Here. I'll split this scan into individual applications. The revision pane will show each document as well as where they will be filed. The document name and metadata can be added by selecting each entry and filling out the Properties pane on the right. Once the documents have been reviewed, they can be filed directly into Laserfiche by clicking the Store button. For more information about Standard Mode and Laserfiche scanning options, including advanced concepts such as dynamic routing and automatic naming, check out the Using Laserfiche help files.